Don Curtis Don Dino. So today we're here for one of your favorite kind of videos from me, an unboxing. And guess what? It's about Air Forces. Y'all love my Air Force videos. We have a lot of other Air Force videos to get into, like how to lace them again, because I don't think I was clear enough on the first time. How to prevent creases again, because I don't think I was clear enough on the first time. But this video that you clicked on here is an unboxing of a dope ass pair of Air Forces, might I mention. So, as you can see, they're in the finish line bag. Is the receipt in here? Yeah, should take these back. I never want them. I bought these April 13th, by the way. And today is June. Is it 13? What's it? June 12th. So almost two months later. I've been running a little late. So they came to 117.60. And the bag has been in my closet for ages. So of course they got the basic Nike hinge. I hate hinge boxes, but hinge box. And then, oh, I gotta turn the light down to the the center. But they're super dope. They're like a baby pink. Like when I say baby pink, baby shower pink. Mind you, I already tried one on, so it's lace how I would lace it or adjust it how I would adjust it. Because they, I got them from the store, so you know it's not really like a box and a box. So. I just want y'all to see these really quickly so you can go and get into the shoe. I'm really gonna have to probably like turn this light off. All right, so you see, as you can see, it's like a baby pink and it has like a floral print, but they look hand painted. I wish you could see them. Of course, I believe that they're real leather. They just look so clean, I don't even wanna wear them. And there's a couple special things I'll point out in a second, but like the black and gray flowers on the, they look like, I don't know what kind of flowers these are, but they're really dope. I wish they came with like a special tag or pen or something. But they're really clean. I really like them. Still got like a lot of shine to them. A lot of times when you get shoes like this, they'll look dull if they were hand painted. Oh, I didn't notice, but the check is like that. That good quality leather. I'm gonna put this camera in front of me. I feel like because, okay. Because the light is coming from this way, it was casting a shadow on like the camera. But like, is that like pebbled leather? They're just super clean. And I love probably more than anything this like black check that's right there on a thing versus like the silver nike thing i wish they all could get these from now on like you know the the silver tab is classic and it works for a lot of outfits but this right here is just perfect in my opinion and i really love these i really think that it's a really dope shoe of course i'm going to try them on for you guys and of course i'm going to show you how to lace them but i'll do the lacing in a separate video i'll do the how to prevent creases in a separate video. I do all of those great things in a separate video. But if you can't wait for those videos, I've already released videos about Air Forces. But well, sometimes they aren't as literal as they should be. So in simple methods, literally all I do is like brand new pair of Air Forces. You know, you take your shit out. You do want to put it on your foot, but I'm not going to show you that. I'll show you that in the tutorial. But um, in short, maybe I should set up the side stickers here. Okay, nothing's happening. I probably like a black background. It's just a super bright shoe. But literally, all you really want to do is just unloosen the strings. I mean, it's a little bit more to it, but you know, when shoot, pull that tongue out, unloosen the strings, pull that tongue out, boom, and just kind of like play with it until they get short enough not to hit the ground. Literally, that's all it is. But I've gotten so many comments asking me to redo the video and just be a little bit more specific because it isn't as simple as it seems. And I remember how my teachers would always think that math was super simple and it wasn't. Ultimately, this is a clean shoe, $120. I would probably put this like, it says engineer for all day, everyday comfort. It looks like they have like a new sole in them as well, if you look right there. But these are super comfortable and I'm only showing you guys this pair in particular because I really love the design. I think it's a really clean design. And Air Forces aren't the most comfortable shoes, but the sole in these ones are different. By the way, these are women's. They came in women's sizes, so I believe it is a women's nine and a half, because women's shoes are kind of cut big in my opinion, and I think they do that so women don't feel so bad about having large feet. But I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. Like, if your foot matches your height, you should never be insecure. And if your foot doesn't match your height, you'll still be fine. And of course, you know me, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be doing, I wouldn't even be handling the game proper if I didn't have a fucking pink, sh pink force. Mind you, I have a hot pink Air Force, and I think I might even have a mint green Air Force. Oh, we need to do a shoe collection video. I haven't even seen some of my shoes in years. 
The other day, I remember that I had a pair of Y3s, and I was just like, yo, I need to wear them. Because can we talk about how, like, Y3s were on, like, the thick, chunky soles before, like, the masses were? And feel the Balenciaga and stuff. Um, oh, is that somebody texting me telling me my food is outside? Please be Sometimes you just gotta get let down, guys. But ultimately, these are way more comfortable than the average shoe. Um, Air Forces, for the most part, in my opinion, fit true to size. Some people say they're cut big, but what I will always say is I would go with the smallest size you can go with, or like the perfect fit, never go up a little bit, only because you want your toe to be at that top, because you do not want your foot to bend when it's time to crease. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I think we got some food. I think we got some food. You outside? Okay. We about to do the on foot, on feet. I never know which one it is on foot, on feet. I never know which one it is. This is gonna be a horrible on foot because I'm just about to do it right there on the floor, but I mean, this video will probably be like a thousand. skipped out on an outro but the new me is like yo you know if i'm trying to get big here on youtube and i'm trying to take this way more serious if you notice i've been like consistent af with the content um and it's not a temporary thing because i just know exactly what i want i know how to maneuver i'm like almost to a schedule but i just have to get prepared because once my inventory come in for shop dino it's gonna be a new dawn a new day a new life okay no all right but you see what i did there right Dawn, a new day, okay. Is it a dawn? <laughs> Boss dawn. <laughs> okay, no, all right. So, before we even like outro, outro this video, I would love for you guys to please check out some of my other videos. Like this video, comment on this video. And can I explain, that's it's super important that you comment and give your opinions because, especially if you want me to like really like grow because a lot of the, when they, when they, when they, when, when, when the brands come at me, and they say, hey, we want you to do this video. We want to send you some stuff. And I say, hey, this is my fee. And they say, hey, you have 40,000 subscribers, but your engagement is low. <laughs> so, you know, because there are select videos that probably have gotten me to that. And I feel like my content sometimes varies because for the most part, I'm an unboxing channel. But my most popular videos aren't necessarily unboxings. They're how-tos and DIYs. But I have so many um, unboxings that I feel like the average person doesn't care what these air forces look like you know what i'm saying sorry for the horrible lighting but they don't care what these air forces look like and because of that it really means a lot to me when you guys engage in any type of way um and i think i need to start doing like giveaways and prizes and i think that will help and if you guys have any other suggestions you can also uh comment below and let me know i i i, I put them up <laughs> I, 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 for the most part i really do um, read and try to respond to like damn it every comment except for like when those videos go crazy 
it's, it's a little harder. A lot of it's the same. I'll try to answer questions on those videos, but a lot of times it's a lot of But I even try to respond to that in a positive way because really people just want some type of attention. Um, also, if you guys will follow me on Instagram, so if you don't have the YouTube app, you will know when I post new videos because I usually do a swipe up thing and I got to get better with that. I just know like a lot of my, um, a lot of my content on YouTube is so separate from what I do on Instagram and I need to kind of like merge the two because like I kind of like used to love it being two worlds like the idea of like my YouTubers may come to my Instagram but it's like I thought like I thought it was smart to build Instagram as its own thing and I know that's not what you're here for sorry for the rant if you love me then you know I talk a lot and you know you like my words of wisdom other than that though I really think this is a dope shoe I cannot wait to wear it I cannot wait to style it this is the type of shoe I'll probably wear one time and like give it a what the fuck is that a scratch? I think it's a scratch on here. I'll probably wear this one time and then give it a rest. Just for the reason of like how dope they are. You know what I'm saying? And then like the leather, the quality of them, the quality of the print. It's like a once in a lifetime thing. And when I was young, I didn't really value shit like that. But once you guys see how I want to like build out my shoe closet. Well, not build out, but like bottles, clear things and stuff. Like you'll see. But alright, boss thongs. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment as I ask, subscribe, poor five or <laughs> poor five or other than that, Godspeed. Wait, stay untouchable, Godspeed. <laughs>